Okay, welcome you guys. So this video is about all the shoes that I have worn and not reviewed. Okay, first up, let's go way back to the first shoe that I bought and didn't review. That was the Adidas Match Court Canvas. So at this point in time, I was looking for a good vegan shoe and, um, and I bought these ones. I was often getting free shoes around this time, but I bought these ones. And I thought they were actually pretty good. But um, one of the first things that happened is this toe cap, the rubber toe cap is so grippy that on my first kick flip, when I wasn't warmed up, I actually pulled a ligament in my ankle and that hurt me for about a month, month and a half. It meant my kick flips were just kind of wonky. Not wonky, actually just sore. And I often couldn't do them unless I was either super warmed up or it just wasn't bugging me that day. But that lingered for a while. The other thing about these shoes that I didn't like was um, they're so trim on the heel here and there's so little padding that when I would do certain heel flip tricks, it would really hurt. Like front side heel flips, anything like that, couldn't do them, hurt too much. Felt like I was doing it right on my ankle. So while I did actually get pretty decent durability, these lasted me about a whole month and they were really grippy, great board feel, great flick once this wore in. The way they looked after they started to blow apart and break in was really bad. Like the whole thing here from heel flips just blew apart. So really durable on this end, sole was decent, but they just got shredded here. And also the white canvas looked disgusting after a while. I was however able to skate really well in them. I think the match court itself, maybe the suede ones would be a lot better. I got these because the toe cap was the same color as the actual shoe. I think toe caps look like clown shoes. I really can't stand them unless they're the same color. So that's why I bought these ones. Okay, moving on. Let's get to probably the next shoe that I bought and didn't do a review of. Now I don't have them because I threw them out, but they are the DC Plazas. So these were my first DCs in ages. Um, I bought these because they were on sale. Uh, they looked like a nice classic shoe. So on my first session skating these with the lithe deck and the aces, I had a wicked manual session. It took me very little time to break those shoes in. The flip for both kick flips and heel flips was amazing. The board feel was fantastic. I thought it was gonna be a bulky cup sole. It was not at all. And that I would say actually proved to be the biggest problem with those shoes is the sole was actually really thin. So for the last two weeks of skating those shoes, I skated them for about a month, maybe five weeks. But for the last two weeks, they actually hurt a lot. The sole was just way too thin on those. So great in the beginning, but for long-term durability, no, they hurt my feet. I could feel everything, like too much. I would, however, highly recommend a pair of DCs. I would definitely try another pair of DCs. I liked how I could skate in them so much. And the toe, even though it was pretty trim, actually didn't blow out for a long time. And even when it started to wear away, still had a really good flick. So I had a very good experience on those DCs, just the thin sole kind of turned me off. But I would absolutely try another pair of DCs because of my experience in those. Okay, moving along, another pair of shoes you may have seen in a video is these Vans Chuckas. So these are actually the pros, right? They have the actual pro insole in them. Actually, this one's wimpier than the Pro. It says Ultra Kush, but uh, these are at least, you know, a couple years old now. But um, the number one reason why I didn't like these Chukkas is this crease in the middle here, dug into my foot forever. It was really painful. I could never actually get over that feeling. It never broke in. Just every time the shoe would flex, I could feel it cutting across the top of my foot. So even for regular use, just wearing around, I've never actually been able to be comfortable in these shoes. And the other thing that happened with these was they started separating from the sole. So right here, and I could feel and hear that on my board when I was riding it, and it just made it feel kind of lame. Um, otherwise, I would have actually liked these shoes. This is actually my third pair of them. I've had pairs that didn't do that, and that is, once again, one of the problems with a lot of Vans is the quality control is off. Like, they can be different from one batch to another. So this batch hurt my foot, and I'm probably never gonna buy another pair of Chuckas because of it. Okay, moving on to another pair of shoes I bought, paid full price for, um, these Nike SB Team Classics. So I got these specifically because they were the Guy Mariano colorway. I thought it was gonna be a Guy Mariano shoe, so I went and bought it. I was actually disappointed that it didn't say Guy Mariano on the tongue or his name anywhere. But how did these shoes skate? So 
I actually like these quite a bit off the bat. Uh, my first session in them was the skate dice with Mad Greek Andreas. They didn't take me too long to break in. The number one problem I had with these shoes is they were way too tight widthwise. So I don't even have a wide foot. I have a pretty narrow foot actually, but these hurt. And what ended up happening in these shoes is on my right foot, it cramped it so much that like my toes were so close together and it was still pretty warm out that like I started to get this weird sort of like, like it was just never drying out inside my toes because they were so cramped together. So that was actually why I went back to the Vans 112s around October last year and started skating those a whole lot more again because those actually had the room for my toes to spread out um, because it actually got really painful to the point that I absolutely couldn't wear these. Next, let's quickly get into the durability of these. So this is one month of skating. While they skated amazingly well, aside from the hurting foot thing, um, they blew apart and that's what I mean like I usually say in videos that yeah shoes last me about three weeks to a month because I blow them apart and this yeah this is a month that's what usually happens to most skate shoes for me again these had quite a thin feeling sole so while that was really good for board feel when they were new they um, they got too thin pretty quick and the last two weeks of these were fairly painful because it was just so thin here I could feel everything. The exact same problem I had with the DCs. So while I think the Nike Team Classics are actually a pretty good skate shoe, they didn't last very long and they were way too snug. So I wouldn't buy another pair in suede either. Okay, next, Huffs. So I got these ones on sale. Um, and the reason I never reviewed these Huffs is because, well, Huffs stopped making shoes. Why would I review a shoe company that's no longer making shoes? but these do actually have an important story to tell. So the soles actually felt kind of thick. Um, they basically felt like an upscale version of Lakai is how these felt. The flick, both kick flips, heel flips was really good. Not the most board feel in these, but they were pretty durable as a result. But these have a problem. The Achilles heel of these shoes is that it gave me a major Achilles heel problem. It's getting hot here guys, the sun's coming out. So this is not a problem that is, you know, unique to these shoes and that it's going to do to everybody because first off, it didn't do it to my left foot. And second, if every pair of huffs damaged people's Achilles heels, I think they would have gone out of business a long time ago for a different reason. But getting back to the shoe, these had a very firm heel and I was driving a ton at this time. And whenever I would drive in these shoes, it would dig into my heel down here, right where my Achilles meets the heel bone. And this was back in around November and it's caused this problem that has become fairly permanent to this day. So we're looking at about seven months later, I still have a problem with any shoes that are too firm or low cut. Basically, that's why I wore the half cabs so much this winter because they're tall, they're so soft that they're the only shoes that I can drive in and the only shoes that wouldn't hurt my foot over a long period of skating in them. All that being said, I thought the Huffs were a really good quality shoe and I would try another pair of them. I was just bummed that these had such a firm heel and it caused that problem that's now been lingering for so long. Again, it's not going to do that to everybody. I obviously had something that was like ready to become a problem and these shoes brought it out. But all that being said, hopefully Huff goes back into making shoes because I think they probably were making some of the best shoes out there. All right, next, let's get on to some Lakai's. So these are another ones, the Fremont, and I actually had these ones given to me because I've had a lot of good experiences in Lakai's. You know, even though they don't always last me too long, I actually end up skating really well in a lot of them. But it really depends on what pair. And I had these ones just sent out to me. I was like, yeah, just send me a, a pair of 10.5 Lakai's. And so these are the Fremonts, um, the Yanni Cruz ones, and I couldn't skate these ones. And again, it was because my heel was messed up. So, but how do these ones feel? Let's get into that real quick. These are the typical like Lakai slipper. So you put these on, you feel like you're wearing an indoor slipper. They're like super squishy. Um, they're for a pretty wide foot. These are for a wider foot than I have. So my foot felt like it was moving all around in these. Um, definitely that wasn't good for me at all. Now this heel right here where the seams meet. So you've got one material meeting another material and then there's a seam right there. 
and it's a kind of low cut shoe that dug into my heel on my right foot, the damaged one, excruciatingly. I tried to wear these on numerous occasions and absolutely couldn't. So I never got any footage in them. I never skated them for more than about 20 minutes at a time. Even walking in these shoes, I found excruciating. But again, let's be clear, only on my right foot. They're actually very comfortable on my left foot that doesn't have that problem. I would recommend these shoes for somebody that has fairly wide feet, for somebody that likes that super comfy slipper feel. Um, the toes actually did really nice kick flips. The heels didn't have a very nice heel grab, in my opinion, for heel flips. Something about the shape of it and the feel, like they're just too squishy or floppy and you really couldn't get that rubber to make proper contact and get a wicked heel flip, in my experience. So I wouldn't write these shoes off, but they were absolutely the wrong fit and style for me. And moving on, yes, we have another pair of Lakai's. These ones I bought and paid full price for. So these were the vegan, what are they? The Newports. So this is like a synthetic suede. I think it was a great color, a good look. Um, I really had a lot of hopes of being able to skate these really well. So when I first started skating these almost a year ago now, the first thing I found was this was the first time a 10 and a half Lakai felt a little bit too big. They're very long in the toe. And that felt okay on my left foot, which is actually slightly bigger than my right foot. But what happened on my switch foot, so for all my switch flips with this toe that felt a bit too long, it would grab and I would flip three quarters. So I wasn't able to get my proper flick and I kept just eating it all over the place, landing primo. And it happened a lot. I did about eight months later put these on in the winter and start breaking them in and skating them and that problem did go away as the toe wears in but definitely the fit and feel wasn't quite right on these and they also always felt too tight in about this area so it never really broke in this faux suede stuff while I am really stoked that they actually went ahead and did that and made a good vegan shoe um, it didn't stretch enough, so I think this material would be really good on a slightly wider fitting model. It definitely just, it always felt like it was squishing my foot right here. The kick flips and heel flips in these shoes were pretty decent, but there is one last thing, and there's a few Lakai models that have this problem. The Cambridges were one of them. So something about this sole and um, these insoles that are fairly squishy, what tends to happen on certain models of Lakai for me is my foot feels like it's sliding around inside the shoe. Even though it's a narrow shoe, my foot doesn't feel like it's sucked inside the shoe. It feels like it's sitting on top of the sole and it's sliding around laterally. And I've never been able to really feel comfortable on a shoe that does that. And again, there's a few models of Lakai that does that. I always try to stay away from those ones. So while I don't think these are a bad shoe, and I think the performance are fairly decent, I would not ever try a pair of Newports again. Also, actually, the heel thing. Low cut, firm heel, excruciating on my right heel again. Continued to cause that problem and didn't allow it to heal. Okay, okay. Sounds like a Lakai bashing set, you guys. But it's not entirely. So real quick, let's finish this off with the Manchester XLK. Whoa, 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 you guys. Okay, I am not gonna go giving you guys the review on these at all right now because I've finally broken them in, I'm loving them, and I wanna do a full review on these. So, back to the end of the video. And anyways, that's it. That is all of the shoes that I have tried and not made a video about. It's been a whole lot of talking. I feel like a motor mouth. I'm ready for a coffee. I'm also ready to blab on about some more stuff, make another video about things I never made videos about. And um, I better get going and do that. So thanks for watching you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, big, you know, big video ending. That's it, I'm done. Done talking. I immediately just finished talking and yet words are still coming out. So now I'm turning it off. <laughs>